me see here. Uh, settings. I gotta look up something here. Uh, Hey, Arlene. I'm looking for something, but I don't think I can get to it in here. Because hmm. it said I'm out of storage, and I don't know if this is going to record. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Okay, I think I'm back. Let me get the autofocus. Okay, I think I'm okay. I'm I'm a little, little, little. am I back? I had to go delete some stuff because I didn't want this video not to record. <laughs> So I wanted to make sure this was going to record. So, okay. So I was gone for a minute. But I couldn't do that from in here. So let's see. Arlene, Beth, uh, Darlene, Donna, Dawn, who else? Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to color this page in serene. I'll zoom in. I ha also have some... Um, Books that I got from Arlene. Thank you, Arlene. We're going to look at those first. And, uh, yeah. So, let's see. Let me move this over just a little here. There we go. And I'll zoom in. I'll zoom in when it uh, when we start coloring. Hi, Maseki. Magical Touch. Beth. Hi, Janet. There we go. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Getting set up here. I guess everything's looking all right. Kathleen, Fernando, good morning. Oh, you got your happy mail. Yay! <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, I'm glad. You're welcome. I got all my happy mail that I gave away on the, the eight cards that I gave away on Monday. I got those sent out yesterday. I went to the post office and uh, I picked up a pack, a box of books from Arlene. So I'm going to show those. Um, I'm not sure if, oh, that's Vicky. Okay, I was going to say that, was, was that a bot? But it's not, it's, it's a Vicky. <laughs> Hi, La Lona. La I'm sorry, Lana, like Don. <laughs> oh my gosh, let's see, who else? Um, yeah, so thanks everybody for being here. Good morning, lurkers. And, uh, yeah, thought we would do some color and I'll start it with pan pastels. And then I don't know how far we'll get with the pan pastels. A lot of detail in this that has to be done with pencil, but I thought maybe we could get the bulk of it done with pan pastel. Hi, Linda Renz. Oh, uh, let's see. 
so yeah we'll uh we'll wait a few minutes and then i will um i'll bring in my books that i got from arlene and show those and then we will um and riri sent me some collage stuff if she comes in i'll show that and um yeah hope everybody's having a good day hope everybody's doing well got me some juice some notes i still got I'm working in my studio room a little bit here and there trying to just do a little i'm working my way around working my way around the room <laughs> i started organizing some of my stamps and i still got more to do on that but um yeah so just doing a little at a time so let's see am i missing anybody coming in oh i didn't do a test let me do a test make sure this is all scrolling along and uh yeah janet that was so fun at your stream doing the pictionary oh my gosh that was so fun doing pictionary hi bard hi juanita she spins i.e little foot let's see um yeah okay i think i've caught up with everybody that's here at the moment so in case if y'all are watching a recording or you're new here i'm dd i stream every monday and wednesday 8 30. let me cut let me uh, i have the microphone i have the box sitting here in front of the microphone i stream every monday and wednesday 8 30 a.m eastern for about three hours hi pamela kathy who else? Oh, I went back to read the chat. Oh, I know. There was so much that you missed, Janet, because, you know, you were drawing, right? So I know that some of the, I know, I knew you'd missed a lot of the chat. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I hope Janet goes back and reads this because it was so hilarious. Some of the guesses and the, it was so fun. It Everybody had a great time. So if y'all don't follow Janet, go over to her channel and watch um, her Monday stream where she uh, did, uh, what was the first one you did? You did Pictionary was the second one. That was the most fun one. But you did, uh, what was the other game you did? Uh, it was so fun. It was fun. Hi, Kathy McConnell. Uh, Molly. Uh, R. Let's see. Um, who else? T -t 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 -t. Okay. Well, I think that's, uh, I've said categories. Okay. Categories. Yeah. That was the first game. I got something in my eye. Uh, I did. Oh, and I forgot to tell y'all, I did go uh, to the eye doctor last Friday and uh, my, you know, got my eyes checked and everything and ordered some new glasses. Um, so, uh, yeah, that they'll be in, I, I asked about how long it would take the last time they told me it would be about for these a year ago when I got these a year ago and they said it would probably be about, uh, three weeks and they came in in a week. So again, she said, well, give it three weeks, give it three weeks. So we'll see, maybe it'll t be two weeks, but anyway, so I got me some new glasses coming. They're snazzy. They're snazzy glasses. Let's see. Um, Hermit's Tale. Who else? I'm probably missing. Did I say hi to you, Nanamo? Hi. Hi, Nanamo. Uh, mod salute. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'll give it a couple more minutes. And uh, so we're going to work on this with pan pastel and pencil. I thought that would be kind of, you know, I, I don't know. Everybody likes pan pastels and coloring. So, and it's my year of color. So that fits in. If the cats come in here, though, I'll probably have to chase them out and close the door. Because, you know, the last time I got into pan pastels, Malibu was yellow, orange, and red for a month. Because you can't wash it. You can't wash it out. It's in their fur and you try to wash it out. You're just spreading it around. I'd have an orange, yellow, red cat. You know, or blue, whatever. I forget what the colors were. She stepped, she got on her side. So I just had to let it, let her, you know, let it go. And about a week later, I think it was gone. Oh no, Tina's internet's out. Okay, thanks, Janet. Bless her heart. That, I, I mean, what can she do? You know, <laughs> I don't know. Just, it's just her service or is it, I don't know. 
I don't, I, I don't know. I think I'd move. <laughs> I know she can't. I know she can't move. I'm just saying uh, that would be, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Sherry bug. Who else? Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. She dreamed of being a calico. Yeah. Yeah. Juanita. And Juanita's been doing some videos lately. She's stepping it back up. So um, let's see. I still I think I got a cat here in my right eye. I might need to go put an eye drop in it or something. To get... I think I got a cat here in my eye, which is easy to do around here. So we'll see how it goes. Um, so yeah, I'm working on my way around the studio, trying to get it cleaned up. I actually have that wall now above the grass carts, you know, because I moved that whole shelf. So now I actually have a little wall space. So I have a couple things hung up there. I'm going to probably just fill it, fill it up with a little art and rotate it out. Cause it's the only, it's, well, I do have one wall over here with all my inks on it, but that doesn't really count if it, the wall is full. So <laughs> I want to try to, uh, hang up some more art let's see having the uh your grant all the time makes it hard to do videos yeah yeah for real Juanita doing yes we're doing a color book page today we're doing the page out of serene pan pastels and pencils I'll zoom in when we go to color oh uh, let's see all right well I guess I will go ahead and uh, show the books that Juanita, I'm Juanita, I'm sitting here looking at Juanita's name, that Arlene sent. So um, let's move the pastels this away. Move the, this away. Okay, so um, yeah, I, I don't know how she managed to do this. I guess, Arlene, do you have, you? I guess you have your postage meter at home. It was a huge box. It was a big box and it weighed a ton. So I guess I guess uh, Arlene just has a I don't know how she even weighed this on a on a scale that you you know I don't know. But anyway, Arlene, I was impressed that you got this box of books sent out. So she sent me this America book, and uh, again, you know, and it's also forward by James Michener. Oh, thank you, stars, Starla Arts tongue twisters today thank you starla arts for the five dollar super sticker thank you so much for supporting the channel arlene says i have a good scale <laughs> thank you so much starla very kind of you thank you um so and i haven't seen julie or pacola this morning so janet my you might be uh on bot duty <laughs> You might be, oh, there's Pagola. There she is. <laughs> My little snapdragon. <laughs> and there's Julie. Hi, Julie. Happy, wonderful Wednesday to you, too. Janet started breaking out in a sweat because Tina's internet's out and we hadn't seen you two. <laughs> I don't know if she was. I'm just kidding. So, so she sent me this America book and, you know, the beautiful pictures. This might end up being a, um, this may end up either being a collage book or reverse collage book, um, or, um, we'll see, but isn't it beautiful? Look at this beautiful photography. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi Katrina. How you doing? <laughs> So anyway, it's it's a stunning book, you know, and again, I don't know if I want to make it a full on um, uh, reverse collage altered book or what yet. So but it's just look at it. I mean, you just there's so many awesome pictures that you just want to you want to paint on all of them. You know, look at this. I mean, I could just build a whole world just on this right here. So it may end up being an, an altered book just in and of itself. So, because it's every page, you know, that's what you have to do. If you want to do a reverse collage altered book, you need a whole book of photographs. You don't want tons and tons and tons of pages of text because then you're, you know, whiting all that out. So thank you for that, Arlene. I know, right, Nanamo? Isn't that gorgeous? I know. Okay, then she sent me this one. The epic story of the warrior king, Alexander the Conqueror. 
And again, she sent these to me because of the pictures, guys. Look, look at this. It's like, now this one, I, I don't know. I don't know what I might want to do with this one. This one may get, this one may get cut up, Arlene. It may, you know, and anybody, don't email me anybody. Don't email me. You cut up books. You know, that's, if you don't, if you don't use them and like, I buy a lot of uh, um, clearanced out books at Books A Million. And I won't make this mistake again. One year, and it was years ago. Years ago, um, um, they had a big clearance out, like for a dollar, like the books were like a dollar, two dollars. And I, I had an armload, literally an armload that I walked up to the counter and uh, the manager that's there isn't, it, he's gone. It was, this was years ago. And I walked up to the counter and goes, what are you going to do with all those books? you got an armload. So I'm going to go cut them up. I'm a collage artist. He went, and you could, he almost, he, he almost went pale. He almost went pale. Like you're going to cut them up. And I said to myself, and I asked him, I said, what, what happens to these books? What, let me, um, let me adjust the light. I said, what happened to these, what happens to these books? If you don't sell them, do they just go in the landfill? What happens to them? <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah. Okay. Then she sent this. Volume one of art history. And again, this one has got tons of art. And now this is one of those that, you know, if you like a painting or a certain something, you're going to want to read about it. Maybe take some notes, write it in your commonplace book, you know, maybe cut the picture out and write something in the commonplace book. That's why, you know, what, rather than, you know, I, I know who's going to read this whole book. This is like a textbook. I mean, you know, it's like a textbook. So, um, you know, pick out some of the ones that you want to write about or understand or learn about and uh, make some notes and um, yeah, and make our cards with the rest. <laughs> so yeah, this is awesome. This is awesome, Arlene. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be all the above. Yeah, Arlene. So there's just a lot of information in this. You know, there's a lot of information in this one. And uh, so I'll probably, you know, find the sections that I want to read and, and write the write notes down and maybe cut the picture out that goes with it. And the last one she sent me was uh, Brian Shears. This is volume two. And uh, I follow Brian Shear on YouTube. If you don't follow Brian Shear, he does a lot of um, digi digital, well, mostly digital art. And, um, but he's an awesome artist. He's a nice guy. So if y'all, uh, you know, it's kind of like, you know, Gary Shipman and he's been, he and Gary Shipman are friends too. So, um, if you follow Gary Shipman, then you, you know, you should probably go ahead and follow Brian as well. And I don't know if, uh, one of the mods want to put, there's his, uh, there's his spelling of his name and, uh, to put, uh, his link into his channel. I've linked it before. Um, I think he stopped in before. And uh, so anyway, it's uh, very cool, very cool art. And uh, and he's a nice guy. So <laughs> uh, let's see. Darla, B, Rain. Who else? Nanette. Anybody else I missed? So, yeah. So thank you so much, Arlene. Thank you so much. I bet she ordered this. Did you order this from Brian? Or did you just happen to find it somewhere, Arlene? So it doesn't matter. I'm glad you sent it to me either way. <laughs> uh, so thank you so much, Arlene, for sending me this. So this will go with my uh, comic book uh, collection, comic book guys and graphic novel uh, collection. And my, you know, Gary Shipman and his sketchbooks and, you ordered it from Brian? Okay. Well, thank you so much for sending it along. Thank you so much, Arlene. I appreciate that. And thanks for supporting Brian, too, by the way. So there's my haul from uh, Arlene. And this weighs a ton, guys. This is 10. I don't even know how many. Arlene probably knows how many pounds it is. It's a lot of poundage. So thank you so much, Arlene. I appreciate that so much. <laughs> Uh, oh, thank you, Bacola. There's uh, there's Brian's uh, website, and and he has a YouTube channel as well. So somebody might have already put it in. Um, let's see. 
I'm rolling back. Let's see, there's Missy. And and because I'm just trying to see who I might have missed. Two Dawns. Hi, Cat and Paste. I missed you. C and P. Wendy. Uh, I said hi to Katrina and Barb. Thanks everybody for being here. So we are going to color in serene. And uh, y'all know I've done quite a few um pages from um Nick Filbert is his this is his uh real name, but he goes by Nick Filbert, N-I-C-K, Filbert on Instagram. So if you want to follow him or if you want to post any art that you do, color pages that you do. Oh, let me go ahead and zoom in on here. Um, all right, we'll start with that. So I just have some, and some are, I think, are in the um, in my other uh, portfolio where, where I have my oversized color book pages. And uh, but I have a few in here that are in progress as well as some finished, like this one. I love these colors. I think this was probably the last one we worked on. And again, let's see, no, I didn't do this one in alcohol markers because it would have bled through. So I'm not sure what we did this one in. But oh, oh, yeah, we did. Sorry, <laughs> the back of this one. So we did do it with alcohol markers. And so um, I think we worked on this one the last time I worked in something in Serene. I don't remember. And uh, some of them, you know, we've done them over the years. This one I have stickles in. So it's got a glittery background. And um, this is one of my favorite ones. I really love this one. I really love her. I love her. The hair and her face it just turned out really nice. Um, this one, she's okay. I don't love this one, but it's okay. Then this one has some gold in it, and I like the gold. It's she's not quite done, but you can see some of the gold. The shiny gold in spots right there. So, um, yeah, I want to finish her one of, one of these days. One of these days, she's got gold going on in her. And um, so, hi, Flo. How you doing? Becky Kalora. Here's my golden goddess. I need to finish her. I really like her as well. My light, why does it keep wanting to change flashing? I don't know why. I got the autofocus off. Um, this one I really like. I really like her, and she's got, you can see the gold there. There you go. And uh, I think this is a fine tech. I think that's a fine tech watercolor gold, I think. The, the watercolor gold. And then uh, this one is in progress. This one's kind of almost done. Yeah, let's see. This one, she's just got a few little bits to go on her. And again, the gold. You can see the gold shimmer. So, all right. So, we are going to work on this one today. With pan, we're going to start with pan pastel anyway. All right, let me go ahead and. Let me just kind of get my go and zoom in. All right. Oh, thank you, Flo. Flo's always so encouraging. All right. So I think as my camera wants to be crooked, but there we go. I think that's good. I haven't picked no colors or anything yet. I have my four trays of pan pastels and I have my little box of tools right here i use these sponges as palettes and i got my kneaded eraser for keeping everything clean i got my i got my uh tools with the little sponges on them and i have little replacement tools and this this is not a makeup sponge this is actually the sponge made out of the pan pastel foamy material oh, this one's cleaner let's go with this one um <clears throat> And, uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and work on this. Oh, that's kind of ugly. Let's move that out of the way. Let's move it out of the way. I mean, I need to get in it, but. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, hi, View. Kathy, Car I said hi to Kathy Carney earlier. I'm probably missing people coming in. And once I start working on this, this is bugging me. I, I don't like the way that looks there. There we go. I'll just move it out of the way. There we go. Uh, I'm sure I'm missing people coming in, but uh, no, not not trying to. You know, I look away and this chat goes scrolling by. So, and I'm just cleaning my kneaded eraser. So I have no idea what colors I'm going to do. Uh, she has armor 
And so I'll probably do, you know, grays and blues. And she has some kind of a, this right here is a, is like a claw hand, like of a bird. Um, that it, and I'm sure it's, it might have off. It's just a skeleton left over of this skeleton. So I'll probably pick that out first. So, all right, let's, um, and, and my, I hate to say it, but my pan pastels are not in order. I need to get them in order, but they're not in order. <laughs> they all should have the four colors in a row, like, like these four right here are in order. So for instance, so the main color in this one is permanent red. So that's permanent red. Then there's permanent red tint, permanent red shade, and permanent red dark. So that's the four. And every one of them has those four, except black and white, has those four uh, colors. So I think what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to go ahead and get like this creamy color, like this bone color, and just... Um, I'm just going to start uh, on the on the um, on the uh, bones. All right, so I do need to get a paper towel. I'll zoom in another click. I need to get a paper towel, and I need to get some baby wipes to keep my hands clean. And before I work much on it in um, a pencil on top of the pan pastel, I'll have to go outside and spray it with a fixative so and i use the grumbacher final fixative matte i cannot stress that enough matte spray because i've accidentally bought the gloss before and you cannot do that do not do that you need the matte okay and i just i never wash these although you can wash these uh i just keep, keep clean them off on a paper towel and they do, especially this one, the, the, the tips do wear out on these thin ones. And you can just, you buy replacement, you just buy replacement sponges. You can get them on Amazon. If y'all have any questions, put them in caps. Make sure you have live chat clicked at the top of the chat window. And if anything goes fuzzy, make sure you check your little setting wheel to make sure it's at 1080p or 720 at the least. Because I'm streaming in HD. Okay, let's see, Sarah, anybody else? Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm going to go ahead and um, just get this all based in. This is just the bones. And uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and this, the antlers will probably be a darker color eventually. But, you know, just like uh, the other ones that we did on the, uh, in the uh, Mystic Girls. You have to base it in, you know, you got to get a base going, you get it started. And then a lot of this is very small. So, um, you know, a lot of it will be done with pencil. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get this whole skull based in. Like that. And remember what I said about when you, you know, get rid of some of the excess. This does not, this is not uh, crumbly and as chalky like regular pastels, but it's, it gives a little bit of a dust still. And that's why you want to clean up any dust or any anything that's left um, around. You want to clean it up with your kneaded eraser before you spray it. But when you go, make sure you don't get any spit. I mean, that sounds terrible, but you don't want to get any spit or any water on your uh, pastel because let me just put a little, because <laughs> this, this is what happens. Well, you can't really see it with this. Let me put a little, because it's so light. Let me show you. All right. I'll put a little bit of, see how anything that's wet, and you cannot erase that. There's no getting rid of that. So you want to be careful not to spit on your page. I mean, <laughs> you know when you blow on like that to get rid of any dust or anything? You want to make sure that you don't <laughs> you don't get any spit on it. Oh, be quiet, view. <laughs> you don't want to accidentally get anything on it because if you try to go over it with a pan pastels, you're going to have you have to turn it into a freckle or a mole 
or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, so here is the um, here's the little claw from the bone. And again, if y'all missed it, I'm coloring out of Nick Filbert's Serene. This is this. If I only could buy one color book, this would be it. If I if I could only have one. This color book would be it. I have two of them. So I have given Cameron some of these pages because he likes it too. <laughs> so um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see who else is coming in. Uh, Deb Farrell. I'm sure I'm missing some people. Okay. So let me just look. You know, I think I'll go ahead and just put a layer of this color on her face too. I'll just go ahead and do her face here. Um, of course, y'all saw the one I sent to, uh, the one I sent to, uh, let me grab this book too, because these, these are the ones I just have handy. The uh, mermaid one I sent to um, um, Zandra. Let me go over here to my Instagram. Hang on. So uh, she's, she's the one that sent me, she's the one that sent me, um, the galaxy girls coloring book and then i colored this one for zandra with the pan pastels and then i also have colored this one with the pan pastels and i did a um stencil background i'm not sure what we'll do here because it's got this moon i'm thinking i just want to paint the black background and and maybe the moon do something with the moon but i'll probably paint the background black with black acrylic paint so i can put stars on it but um we did um we did an effect here with uh what do you call it a, a stencil we stenciled it thank you view so um that's out of this book and then um i've also been coloring a little bit out of this one which is angelic beauties and i have two that we've done out of this one her and her so i just have these two out of angelic beauties and um this book has it in a dark and a duplicate of it in a light so if you want to do um if you don't want much of the if you don't want much of the ink to show then you can color it real light or you can do the darker uh version it's not a lot of difference, but it's enough that um, depending on what you're going to color with. All right. So let's keep rolling here. Hi, Anne. Anybody else I miss coming in? So we'll, um, do y'all, uh, is this close enough for now until I start doing details just to kind of see the overview? Because I'm not really coloring any details yet. And I'm just kind of getting the base coat. So there's really not a lot to see if I zoom in. So. I just want to get it going here. I And I have not picked colors for the armor or anything. I just said, well, let's just do her today. <laughs> just, you know, just on a whim. We just picked her. So just kind of. Looking around, make sure I get all, all the skin there and all the bones. I think that's uh, all I see right now. Uh, all right, let's see. What Dee Dee does with grayscale on Amazon paper. Yeah, the, and that one, that one the um, this one, the Angelic Beauties, this is, this is Amazon thin paper. This is like copy paper thin. This is copy paper. The... Um, Galaxy Girls, this one is more on cardstock. This is more on cardstock. <clears throat> but I'll work it. I'll work it, whatever. All right, so let's see. So we got the skin based. Now I gotta start picking colors. So I'm gonna need a um like a sienna. Or maybe, let's see, I'll get a few browns and colors because I'm going to want probably some, um, let's see, the armor and stuff. I'm probably going to want in blues and grays. Let's put that book down there. Let's see. So let's get out 
Let's see. Do I want a blue gray? This one is turquoise extra dark. That's going to come off really blue, though. I should probably go with the grays and the black. And of course, I'll get a white. Get all that out. Okay. And then uh, let's see what else. Probably this dark blue, which is uh, Payne's gray extra dark. Hmm. What else? I think I'll just start with those. I'll start with this. I'm going to probably need some other, like her hair. I don't know what color I want her hair to be. Oh, see, you don't want to do that. You don't want to be on a, you don't want to put that on there. Like I just did. You'll be cleaning up things. All right. And, and I uh, have a baby wipe over here to keep cleaning my hands. Because you you do pick it up on your hands. Uh, let's see. Maria. Hi, Dan. How you doing? All right. I'll make sure my hands are dry because I don't want to get any wet fingerprints on there. All right. So let's go ahead. And I think I'm going to do her. Maybe I will do her with an auburn hair because we're going to do the blue. So let's go ahead and just put a base coat of uh, auburn in her hair. Oops. And when I want to blend colors, I blend them on these uh, sponges, on the pan pastel sponges. I blend on those rather than blending on the piece. I mean, you can do both and maybe a little of both, but I like to blend on the sponges. <sighs> okay, let's see. Some of our hair is showing in here. Here, here, and the nice thing about it is, if you get if you get uh, pan pastel someplace you don't want, like you know where her hair is there, if you get it too thick or whatever, you can just go in there with your kneaded eraser and erase it. As long as you haven't sprayed it yet, as long as you haven't sprayed it. Hi, Rachel. Good to see you. All right, um, like right in here, I got a little out of control. All right, let's see. I'm just kind of looking around here. There's a little bit of her hair sticking out there. Mm. She's got her helmet on. She's got some roses or something up in there and all her armor. And she's got some kind of a thing wrapped, you know, some cloth thing in there and then her uh, scarf here. And then this, um, this, I can do this as a scarf or whatever. And then there's the wings. I'll probably want to uh, distinguish that from the wings. So, all right, let's go ahead. And I think I'll do the wings in this slight. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be. It's too. I need a little bit bluer. So let's go in here with the baby blue here. This will be good for her armor with this. Okay, but it's a little gray for the wings. So we're going to get off some of that. All right, so I'm just going to base coat all the wings. I'm just going to have white, blue, and then I'll shade it. I'll shade it later. But right now, I just want to get it all in there. Now, see, I'm going off the paper, so it's going to get on here. I need to wipe that off when I get done so I don't make a mess. <clears throat> but I'm going to just get started with, with this. I might shade with some of these other colors, but I want the base of the, and I'll add, I'll, I'll race out and I'll highlight the wings as well. So, <clears throat> hi, Kitty Jen. Anybody else popping in? Thanks everybody for being here. But you can see how fast you can get a, a coverage over a large area. And then you can go, just go back in there Okay, that's going to be a different color. That's not the wing. Same thing for that right there. Um, you can get a lot of coverage going um, quickly. Not that you have to hurry, but, you know, if I wanted to color this whole thing blue and shade it with pencil, that would have taken probably the whole two or three hours, you know. So, all right. So, let's see. All right, now I want to go in here with, this is going to be, I'm just kind of have to think about it because I haven't planned this out. 
All right, here's some more wing right in here. This is on the picking it as I go here. All right. Maybe a little right there, maybe. Okay. All right. So got that started. Got that based in. All right, let me clean my hands off because, and also it wouldn't be a bad idea to kind of wipe around here. All right, and let's see, with my eraser, you gotta just kind of watch where you're not smearing it everywhere. And you can spray it more than one time. You can go with the light spray and then come back and work on some more and spray it again. Um, and then if you work on it with pencil and you add any more pastel, you still have to spray it. That pastel has to have a final spray. Okay, so let's see. I think I'll go in with, I think I'll go in with this gray on her armor. So I don't know if it's going to be enough contrast. Even though I'm going to put a lot of the dark color with it. And I'm going to lighten up the wings. I have to kind of think ahead. All right, let's go ahead and do the armor. This dark gray. Well, it's going to be have dark gray in it. And then I'll have to think about all the fabric. Okay, so all this is going to be armor. Or metal, I should say. This is all going to be metal. So I'm going to just go ahead and distinguish the metal. From everything else. Just go in. And if I decide I want a little gold accents or something, then I can go in there and you know erase or move things around with the what do you call it? Um with the uh kneaded eraser. All right, so I'm gonna do that light, I'm gonna do that wing light color too. There's a little chain there, more armor. Which all that all that uh, filigree, I'll do all that with a pencil. I might do a little bit of shading with the pan pastel, but all the little details will be done with a uh, pencil. Okay. Just one flat color right now. No blending or anything else. Just getting it based in. <clears throat> if you have any questions, put them in caps. I'm rolling along. Oh, thank you, Teresa. Rolling along here. And these little little uh, wrestlers here, I'm going to have them be in metal. It's part of her armor. That's probably going to be cloth. That's probably going to be a little bit of cloth right on her head there. Do that another color. Okay, and I'll, I'm just cleaning off my brush over here, or my little tool on the paper towel. All right, now I'm going to go back in with the light baby blue, this wing. Okay. And then I have to decide on the fabric. This fabric there. Let me think a minute. What third color would I like? I'm looking at my colors. Trying to decide. I almost kind of go with a golden, like this golden green color. Those right there. Or orange. Orange would be good too. She's going to have her kind of the hair. I think we'll go with the orange. Why not? Let's go with let's go with orange. Nice bright orange. What do y'all think? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. All right. <clears throat> and again, this is just a base coat. If y'all were been around while we've done the other faces and things you see we have to start with start with the base and then you start either erasing or adding 
Oh, there's got some metal right there. Got to go back in there. And I think I'll do these flowers up here orange too. It might be a little darker or lighter than the fabric. Um, do a bright. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing orange. All right, let's see. And then all this around our neck. I'll probably have that have be more brown, like leather and different kind of straps and things all in there. But I'll just get it based in right now. Then I'll probably go ahead and paint the background black around the moon. Maybe do a, I haven't, I don't think I've tried to do pan pastel on top of, well, I probably have a little bit, but not in any significant way. Pan pastel on top of acrylic paint. We'll try that. We'll see what happens. All right, let's see. All right. Um, I think, let me clean my sponge thing here. Let's go in here with the gray again and do this part. Metal, metal. All right, let's see. Mm. Could do a nice yellow, yellowy greenish color moon. I don't want to do a yellowy color. Let me see. <sighs> All right. It, I know it looks very flat and pale, but you know, that's how it looks at first. Okay, let's see. Now, um, I'm thinking of the moon. We had a beautiful, have y'all, did y'all see the full moon? I'm wondering if this too much, that's too much like the orange. It needs to be a little bit lighter, but I don't want it that bright yellow. Let me see what color. Hmm, that's not going to be enough of a contrast, so it might have to be. Hmm, that's just not bright enough. This is going to be too too similar let's see what color do i want the moon do i want it a greeny color it's not enough it's not enough it's not enough difference might just have to leave the moon white because this is too bright i don't like that and the other yellows are just too similar to the orange why is there a creepy hand on her shoulder? That's a bone. It's. A, I think it's a. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's. A, maybe it's just another. Maybe it is this winged character. I was just imagining it being a bone, <laughs> like the like the skull. But it could be. Maybe it's alive. <laughs> could be alive. What shade did you use for her skin? I used as a base burnt sienna tint. Burnt Sienna tint. And then this one is Burnt Sienna. So this is in the same family. This is Burnt Sienna. That's with white. And I didn't pull. Yeah, here's Burnt Sienna shade. And then there's Burnt Sienna extra dark. So this is all the same color. Okay. With just either white or black added. Okay. So let's see. I, I'm, I'm going to leave. Let me just leave the moon for a minute while I paint the background black with black acrylic paint. I'm not going to do it with pan, pan pastel. I'll do it with black acrylic paint. And then we'll see about maybe doing some kind of little pattern on the back. Or no, I want to do, no, because I want to do stars. But I could do a stencil thing. We'll see. All right, let me get my black acrylic paint. Now that's blue. Okay, let me get my. All right, here, we're going to paint the background. 
Da, da, da. I just think that we don't need too much paint fart. <laughs> oh, I love it when paint does that. Okay, let's see. Let me find a little brush over here. Uh, let's see, I'm reaching over my brushes. Okay, let's get it back down. And then let's just go ahead. And uh, I don't want my sleeve in this. This is a paint shirt, but I don't want to be, I don't want, I don't want the pastel on my sleeve for the uh, purpose of drag, I'll be dragging it around. So I'm just not trying to get my paint, I mean the pastel on my sleeve, so I don't drag it across the whole piece while I'm working. All right, so we're going to just get the background painted in here. And um, also, y'all know that if you use acrylic paint, on your pieces pass i mean um pencil color pencil goes over your goes over your uh acrylic paint like butter you can do fog and foam and mist and um all kinds of cool stuff if you're if you have a base of uh acrylic paint i probably should get a little brush but <clears throat> let's see Nikki nice to have you Julia O who else so you'll know I've been trying to do my year of color which also includes coloring um, I did the art cards on Monday we did a uh, uh, red and pink. I posted the red ones. I haven't posted the pink ones yet because I haven't posted the pink art journal page. I'm kind of trying to do it like, you know, kind of together. Like I did the yellow, orange, and red now. The uh, art journal page and the uh, cards. So I'm kind of posting them, you know, as we go. And uh, those were fun. I might just put a little bit of a ring of something around it. Could put some stickles. Stickles always looks good, but it doesn't photograph. So same thing for gold. Gold, shiny, metallic gold. Just it's really hard to capture that in a photograph. But it looks really good when you do it, and you can see it in person. And I am going over the edge there, so I just have to be careful to wipe that up here in a minute because I'm right up on the edge of the piece here. So is anybody else working on something cool this week? Or any plans for the weekend? Hubster asked if I wanted to go down to Blick downtown Atlanta. Uh, for early birthday and probably go to the varsity and get onion rings at the varsity uh, I said well it depends on the weather because there's rumors of another sleety snowy something coming through and I said well as long as it's not snowing and sleeting so I might go to Blick over the week I always I always try to go to Blick and the varsity on my birthday week or within a couple of weeks um, depending on the weather. So we'll see what we'll do this weekend, depending on the weather. Hang on, I'll check chat just a second. Almost got this done. Okay, here we go. All right. Oh, I missed that part right there. Let me get my brush back. Oh, let's see. Santa Maria does silver photograph. Well, any kind of metal, shiny. It'll photograph gray. It won't photograph shiny. I mean, you can take one picture, one, and then kind of tilt it and get a shine. 
but it's not the same. It just metal just doesn't photograph. Well, I'm going to turn this over just while I get in here. Same thing for stickles, like when I put glitter on anything. It doesn't show as glittery. It just kind of looks like dots. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, oh, wait. Right in here. Of course, I could get this with pencil, too. All right. Clean my brush. Okay. Let me hit this with the heat gun. Oh, back up my chair. Uh-oh. Let's call it those. Oh, something. So let me get my uh, clean out some of the moon there. It's gonna be hard to keep that clean the whole time, I think. <laughs> I'll just make sure and uh, and uh, make sure before I spray it that I got it really nice and defined. All right. So Sarah, who else am I missing? Blake's really was fun. Yeah, it's fun to go there. Oh, I haven't I haven't been to Blick in a couple of years. I don't think. It's been a couple of years. I didn't go last birthday, so it's time. It's time to go. Uh, let's see. Okay, Julia. Misty. Nettie. Okay. And I don't want to put my uh pan pastels away because I'll I'll want them for a thumbnail. I'll put them around the piece when I'm done. But I do need to let me tilt my camera down just a little so I can get this a little closer to my body. There we go. Okay. So all right, what do I want to do next? Do I want to work a little bit on her face? So maybe just a little bit of uh shading on her face. So let's go ahead and get some um let's see what this one. Let's get a little bit of, and you don't really want to do this over it. I, I try to keep it in camera, but you really don't want to do, you know, get crumbs over your piece. So I'm going to put a little bit of that and just a little bit of the brown or color here. Maybe just a little bit of the sienna as well. All right. So I'm going to just want to do a little bit of shading. I'll do, I'll do most of the shading in her face with pencil because it's very uh, tiny. And uh, we're we'll going to do her lips because I'll probably put some other color on her lips. So I'm just going to do a little bit of shading here with the pan pastel, and then the rest of it I'll do with I'll do the rest of it with uh, pencil. Just like that, I think. <laughs> Alright, just a little bit, and let's see what the light's doing here. Maybe I'll turn the light down just a little. It's a little flashed. That looks a little better. Okay. All right. Um, let's go in with a little bit of the dark brown. You know, just a touch of black can make this brown. I, I could get out a darker brown, but I'll just use a little bit of the black here. And just get a little bit of darker in her hair. Again, most of this will be done with pencil, highlighting and stuff. All right. I think that's part of her hair right there and there. You can shade details much better with pencil. All right. What kind of brush is this, Helen? It's uh, the Pan Pastel Tools. 
they come in all different shapes and you just replace the little sponges you replace the little sponges as needed and this these are not the same as makeup sponges this is not the same as a makeup sponge it's i'm just telling you they're and they do sell these are um these are pan pastel tools as well but they're not like a, they're different than a makeup sponge so okay all right so and you can also do some erasing with a electric, it's battery, but they call it electric eraser. So, you know, if you want to get in there and do some highlights with that or with your um, kneaded eraser, or we'll go back in here with some Posca. I'm going to keep cleaning my hands here. Um, so, uh, okay. All right, I'm going to get some fresh baby wipes. <clears throat> all right so now i have to decide do i want do i want some kind of a cool swirly pattern on the rather than star i always do stars you know i always do a bucket of stars so i think let me look at my stencils maybe we'll do it let's try to do a like a white misty stencily thing let's look for a swirl i'm gonna look at my stencils i'm gonna look for a swirl and um speaking of stencils all y'all that's got an art card will have a surprise in your package mm, that's a little too flowery i want to look, but that's too symmetrical I want something a little more flowy. Maybe that without this center flower. Uh, maybe. We'll hold on to that one. I'm going to keep digging here. Let's see. I want some kind of flowy. It's not a lot of real estate right there, right? It's not a lot. So you want something kind of small. And I'm thinking those swirls might do it. But I don't know that I've tried to do um, pan pastel. That's pretty too. If it was, if I had more room around there, I would use this because it looks like wind moving. This is kind of swirly at the same time. Like if I just use the swirls, love this though. I wonder if I could get away with that. It's just so, it's so you know, it's kind of big. You know, that's kind of big. But I like the swirls. Maybe I'm gonna try it. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try. Here's the worst that can happen. The worst that can happen is I have to repaint the background. <laughs> so you know. All right, so let me get a um, let me get another tool here that doesn't have any color, really much color. Let me clean this off. I'm just cleaning everything off here on the on the uh, paper towel right here. All right, let's see what we can do. And again, if it doesn't work, we'll just paint over it. I'm going to try white swirls, like coming off the moon. We'll see what happens. All right, here we go. The white pastel. Now I'm going to kind of, I'm going to fussy with where, what I lay down. I'm going to look and make sure I can get some of those swirls in there and uh, just see what happens. Okay, so I'm kind of liking that right about there. Let's try this. Here we go. Here we go. I like this stencil too. Okay, here we go. We'll see what happens. And again, I'm going to go right into the moon. Right up on the moon. Is everybody holding their breath like I am? <laughs> and then we'll just move the stencil along the edge. All right, here we go. It's okay. It's not swirly enough. I'm leaving it, but it's not it's not swirly. Like maybe maybe I can get some of that cloud look right in there. Okay. This area right here, it has more of a cloud effect, and that's kind of what I was trying to get.
Oops, move that. I might have to fix that. Okay. Yeah, see, I moved the stencil right there. So I'm going to have to kind of get in there with some with some uh, paint or something. Now I need a little bit right there. Let's see, what can I do? Right there, maybe. Okay. I'll get in there with the... Uh, no, I'll get in there with this. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. <sighs> Thanks, Dan. I like the stencil too, but I wanted more of the, let's get a little bit more room here. I wanted more, um, swirls. All right, let's see. Let's see right in here, maybe. We'll see what this looks like. And I can also go back in there with some pasta. You know, I can get in here with some pasta if I need to. Or pencil, where it's just not as crisp as I might want it. But I think that's okay. What do y'all think? Is that all right? I think it's okay. All right, let's see now. What do I want to do next? <sighs> Probably do a little bit... Um, of more pastel on the armor and the wings and then I'll probably go spray it okay all right so let's get um, some of this uh, no I don't want that color I want more of a like a topier color for the bones so let's see what color do I want for the bones do I want more of a um, might be too green let's see i just i think I'm, i ne really need to do this with pencil i'll just get a little bit of the shadow in here but I, I think i'm gonna need to do most of the shading in the bones here and here i'll do that with pencil because i can get a nice good color i mean the right color that i want all right so let's see uh, oh, you're, <laughs> you're welcome for the... Okay, here you go, Rachel. Here you go. <sighs> there you go, Rachel. <laughs> we, we try to give a little ASMR moment. <laughs> Okay, so now I want the blue rather than the gray for the wings. Okay, so now I'm going to kind of just get in here and put some of the shadow for the wings in here. I don't want to zoom in yet. Wait till I, I'm going to zoom in when I start working with the pencil. Okay. Right now it's still kind of base coating. Okay, just that little bit of blue. Start shading it up, see? And I'll do more with pencil. Because I the, the you can't only really get so much detail with this. That's not, you know, compared to a pencil, this is not that pointy. Where's one of my pencils? Do I have one sitting here? I have to go get one out there. Get my tray. I was trying to find one of my color pencils sitting here, but I don't have, oh, well, here's a pencil. So you can see, you know, the difference in how much detail you can get. 
right? Bye, Arlene. Thanks again, Arlene, for the books. I'll be planning out what I can do with them. Thank you so much. If y'all missed it earlier, Arlene sent me a stash of books. Okay, I might have to turn. I try not to turn the piece when I'm working on it, but I might have to. Okay, this the tip is starting to wear on this, so I might have to change the tip. Um, I try not to turn anything when I'm working on it, but sometimes you just got to. <clears throat> and it, again, I got a little light. Let's turn the light down just a little. Shh, shh, shh. There we go. All right. Um, th did Tina make it in? Hi, Tina. Did your internet like you for a minute? <laughs> Bless your heart. I know that's frustrating. Very frustrating. All right. So I'm just trying to get some of these feathers. Again, I'll do most of it with... Uh, Pencil, maybe some Posca highlighting. I'm just trying to get a little bit of shadow going here with the pastels. Okay. Good to see you, Tina. Oh, la, la, la. Let's see here. Because once I get all this in here, I'm going to need to spray it because otherwise I'm going to be running my arms through it. But just, yeah, and see over here, too, I have to be careful not to touch it. Uh, so we'll see. All right, I am going to turn it so I can get these top feathers here without putting my arm over the top. And then I think I'll go spray it. but it gives you that base that can take a long time to do if you're trying to do all this in pencil. Shadow there a little bit more. <sighs> okay. Let's see like a, bit, a little bit of the armor and then I'm gonna go spray. All right, I think I need to I'm gonna and you can take your little tips and turn them over and use the other side. So, but eventually these are the quickest ones to wear out. These pointy ones, they wear out fairly quickly. <clears throat> oh, let's see. Hello, Alice. Sherry Bug, I know you want a small swirl pattern of things. Oh, well, thank you, Sherry Bug. All right, let's see. Let's add a little bit of, I'm just going here. Oh, I don't really want black, but I don't, this is too light, so I'm going to need to blend. Where's my sponge? Here we go. All right, so let's see here. 
And again, a lot of this is going to be shaded and the little filigree and everything done with a uh, pencil. But I'll get a little bit in here. A little bit of shading. I'm going to be careful where I touch it to hold it steady because uh, I don't want my arm or my hand resting in there. See, it wants to move. You could tape it, but. Get a start going. I'm still not sure if I want to do that as part of the. It's. I think that needs to be orange. I think that needs to be some fabric up under there, under her helmet. I know I'd want some fabric up under there if it was my helmet. Uh, I have a place to hold it. There we go. And when I start on the pencil, I'll zoom us in. In there, guys. Gonna just take a little bit of time with these little details. Okay, there's a start. <sighs> All right, we got a start. You hear my clock ticking? Yeah, there's one in here ticking. <laughs> it, I, I, you know, it's uh, white noise to me, you know, because I don't, I don't pay attention to it. I have, I have one that's downstairs though. That when Denise has spent the night, she makes, she turns the, uh, she turns the pendulum off because it's tick, 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 and you know we don't hear it, you know, and we've had it for you know forty years, you know, we don't hear it. But Denise, when she comes over, she does not like to listen to that clock. This one, I don't think, she, I don't think she notices this one. It's not that loud, unless I'm just really not donkey. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm going to take a minute. I'm going to go ahead and spray this. And uh, do I have my spray up here to show you? I think it might be downstairs. Let me look. Oh, sitting on my foot. Let's see. That's the glove. I think it's downstairs. Oh, now, here it is. Okay, so this is what I use to spray. It's a final fixative because I found that the final fixative smells a little less. And I think it pretty much does the same thing. So, but you make sure you get matte. And the gloss, it looks exactly like this, except it says gloss right there. You want to make sure you get matte. Okay. So I go out on my front porch and spray, and I will close the door so the cats don't come up here. And then, um, yeah, so I'll be right back. Give me a couple minutes, and um, I'll be right back.
Alrighty. can still smell it a little. You really want to take it outside for about five minutes, but yeah, I wasn't going to make y'all wait that long. Oh, uh, let's see. Kate, uh, Linda, uh, Lydia, Miss A, Miss Vicky B. Janet was wa watching Denise with tweezer. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She is so into the planners now, Miss Vicky. You don't even know. Oh my gosh. You don't even know. <laughs> mm. <laughs> she is so into the planners. What did I do? Oh, I left my phone. Hang on. Let me go. No, cats don't come in here. I left my phone out here. Hang on. See if I can find a quick picture. So this is a spread that she did yesterday. There's what she did yesterday. Look at all that, Miss Vicky. <laughs> so yeah, she's all proud of herself. And uh, here's there's when she went to. She has this board I gave her to, that's like an easel. An easel. It raises up and lowers, but she brings it up on her bed. I'm out of breath. I just want to say she bought her some new uh, wash. She bought her the punch. She got the Happy Planner punch. She got her the gray grass cart because look at the colors of her room. <laughs> There's her bed. Uh, so she is all into it. Uh, I know. She's so happy about it. Hi, Dot. Uh, <laughs> all right. So let me get back to my, let me get back to my uh, piece here. And, uh. Let's see. Do I want to add more? I don't know. I kind of like that it's kind of fady, although there's a couple places where I think I need to go in there with pencil. All right. So now I'm going to move my pastels out of the way. I'm not going to put them away because I want to use them in a thumbnail. I don't want to have to try to figure out which ones I used <laughs> and pull them back out. So let's just move the stuff out of the way, the tools, and I'm going to bring up uh, pencil. Pencils. All right. Or as Denise likes to call them, my crap pencils, just because I keep them in a silverware tray. <laughs> so there's my main colors, and then here's my neutrals. Well, minus the peachy color there, but I try to keep them separate. But And then these are the ones that I'm working on in the other piece. So, yeah. All right. Yeah, I know, Rachel, right? She ain't fooling around. <laughs> no, I did ask her about that. I said, are you still doing the little envelopes for your, um, for your, um, you know, savings? She goes, yes, I am. I'm still doing that too. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. So let's see. I will go ahead and zoom in and we might be zooming in and out depending on what we're working on. So that looks pretty good. And it, it, the clarity, I lose a little clarity when we zoom in this close, but that way you can see the detail. Um, oh, okay, Rachel. Rachel in her ASMR moment. Okay. So... <laughs> You like that, Fernando's pencils? Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's see. Let me go ahead and let's go ahead and uh, I want to get some color for the bones and her face. And of course, you know, I'm going to want colors for the gray, the armor. And uh, so let me just go ahead and start picking some colors. I don't need that. I need two of those. Okay, so I want to differentiate between the the wings shadows and the um metallic for the uh armor so let's get those okay and then a little it's just come too close All right, let's get a lighter one there we go so let's see i'm gonna need some blue 
we need a like a blue for the wings and a lighter blue for the wings and of course white and black did i already get black no is that that's dark gray okay i'm gonna need i'm pulling a lot of grays and just to have them on the table and then let's see what else i'm gonna need a couple more i'm gonna need an orange and a sienna where's my uh, crap sienna as <laughs> i actually have a couple pencils i find them because they have uh, they have tape wrapped around them <laughs> Let's see. Uh, look at the peach and that. Hang on, guys. I'm kind of not paying attention to Chem. Don't know if I might need a brown for her hair. And there's a sienna. And then I'm going to need another orange. I, I need the. Maybe there'll be enough for the sienna. Let's go ahead and get a light orange, too, because I got these flowers. And I don't know what this crap is dripping off that bone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave the moon white. I think I'm gonna think I'm gonna leave the moon white. Although it is, I do, I do have some little spots in here that I'll probably have to cover up with pencil. Okay, so let's see. I think that's good. I got my erase. I mean, my uh, little sharpener here. All right, I think we're gonna ready to start. So let's go ahead and start. And I will have to sharpen a few of these as I go. The bone color. And then I am going to need another brown, I think. That color. Hmm, maybe. Maybe. And then I'll need my pasta. Really lucky to have such good name. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. Do I want this? I really want to do her face first before I do this, but I just thought, well, I'll go ahead and put a little bit of shadow in this bone here. And I can highlight it too, although the, I'm not going to have the bone be too shiny because, you know, it's like a dried bone. They're not shiny. Y'all see okay? My staying in frame. Get around their little teeth here. Some of these little cracks in the skull behind here <clears throat> my jeez love our posca <laughs> yeah it's a little still a little flashed out might need to put turn down the light just a little bit more All right, now I'll put a little tiny bit of blue. It's not dark enough. Let's go with this one. Okay, Let's fix my pencils from rolling. And I'll lighten it up with the light peach. Just get some baste in there. Oh, let's see. Oh, thanks, Tina. We try. Try to make it come to life. Oh, I 
picked a new I picked one out that I haven't even sharpened. So let's let's sharpen this new pencil. I guess I could get one out that's already sharpened, but since I picked this one, let's sharpen it up. I have multiple, multiple copies of the pencils. All right, so let's see. Just get some of the skull down here, like it's weathered bone. Put some kind of, uh, probably a gold. Where's my gold? Even though it doesn't show up. Oh, here's a gold pen. Let's go ahead and do the nose ring. Gold. Oh, nice touch with the show. <laughs> Rachel, you're so funny. All right. I still don't want to rest my arm on the piece, so. So is it, what's everybody doing this weekend? And how you been, Miss Vicky? Are you still here? How you been? I follow you on Facebook. I see you and your family. So cute. Your kids look so happy in all their pictures. Do you bribe them to smile? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, hi, Gothic Circle, Bella. How you doing? All right, let's see. Let's put a little bit on the teeth there. All right. Uh, tch -tch -tch -tch. You're good. Okay, good. And I'll get in here with some Posca probably for a couple of highlights as well. All right, let's see. Let's get those little teeth. I'm going to work on her face next. Can y'all see okay? And let's put a little highlight on the ring, gold ring. And anytime you use white Posca to do add highlights, so you don't have to, and I say it all the time, you don't have to leave it white. You After it dries, you can go back over it with your beige or whatever color, you know, your under color is. You can go back, um, you can go back uh, over it with the color. You don't have to leave it stark white, but in this case, it's a bone, so I might leave it white, but um, just saying, you don't have to leave it the highlight like just a bright white highlight you can knock it back down with a color This reminds me, though, I need to get back to my, <laughs> I have that um, in my Procreate, that piece that I'm working on with the astronaut flying the skeleton, the skull. I need to work on that because I really like that. Sitting in there, sitting in my Procreate. <laughs> All right, let's see. This might be close for black. I thought I pulled a black. It's dark gray. There we go. Sharpening. Oh, remember. I, oh. <laughs> I try to remember people's names. I don't usually use people's names. I mean, especially if they haven't said it, but you said it yesterday. So uh, I guess it's okay. But if you, uh, you know, if you don't, if I, if I'm the only one that knows your real name, then I don't use it. But uh, if somebody uses their real name in chat, then I feel like, well, it's no secret then. 
right? But if you want me to just call you gothic, that's okay. <clears throat> so we'll get in here with the details. I do want don't want to forget to do this is part of the cloth, you know, part of the swirly bits instead of instead of uh, the armor. So yeah, I'm still working on that mech piece in the um, was it a Kirby's book? I'm still working on that. I'm not working on it. On, I haven't worked on it on stream, so I probably need to work on that. What is it, baby? You can't come up here. There's past pan pastels. <laughs> Let's see. Does that eat Devin? Who else? Yeah, let's see. So you go over some of this white right in here. Oh, baby. No. Uh-uh. Sorry. Sorry. That's a close one. I should close the door, I guess. <clears throat> it looks really dark right now, but when I get all the rest done, it won't look so dark. Okay, so let's see. I think I'll give her a blue eye. Maybe start a little bit on her skin here. I have her hair flowing across her face. Are y'all still at the tour? Are y'all okay with just watching along here? It still looks a little flashed out compared to, I wish you could see it in person. It's not, it's not one to cut, it's too bright. There we go, it's a little better. But I stick my hand back in there and it goes back to light, but I think it's okay. All right, let's do a little bit, let's do a little bit of a C and a lip here. You are a fierce eyebrow. I'm just going to have Auburn. Anyway, like I said, I want to go to Blick this weekend if it's the weather's nice. Do I need anything? No, but <laughs> it's just nice. Oh, the skin colors. Uh, let's see. This one is ne I think this one's nectar. This is uh, sienna. This one is um, light peach. <clears throat> I'm going to give her extra hair blown in the
and shadow under the armor there. Give her a highlight on her lip in a minute. And then I use um, I use a Sharpie pen for the uh, lash line, lashes, pupil, anything black. Because especially when you've gone over it with Pan Pastel, everything has been um, dusted over. So nothing's really black. So if you want any lashes or pupils or anything, see, can you tell right there how much difference that made? And then I want to highlight in her eye. And maybe a little on her nose there. And then her lip. Okay. It'll start us off. We can tweak it. We can tweak it as we go. Maybe we'll give her a couple freckles. Maybe, maybe she's got auburn hair. Let's give her a couple freckles. Let me sharpen. Darker in the sharpening. Everything else to be sharpened. Oh, let's see. some nice darks on her hairline here. All right. Let's move on to some of the armor now. I'll go back here and tweak some of this. I can, I can knock back some of the white if it's too stark white because it's dry now, the Posca. All right, let's get in here with uh, blue. The two blues that I picked for the wings. I really want to, I want a paper on here. Let me get a piece of paper. Um, <clears throat> Well, black might flash this out, but you might maybe. Let's see. I just don't want to rest my hand too much on this. Okay, so now let's see. Nope, I need the darker one. All righty, let's see if that's dark enough. Probably dark enough for the wings. If you have any questions, put them in caps. I know I'm not talking much. Just trying to get as much of this done as I can. Don't think I'm going to finish this to in um, this stream, though. It's a lot of detail in this one. That's why I usually pick, like, uh, the Gothic Girl. The faces are pretty simple to do. This has got, look at all the little detail in there. It's going to take a while. All right, so let's see. Let's see about the wing there. And now let's um, see if I need, if I can get in there with, no, I think I'll just go ahead and get in there with the Posca.
Okay. Do you what pan pastels do you prefer for light and darks? I just mix them up. I don't, you know, I use the peaches and the siennas usually, but I don't have a certain color. This, see, look, where's my sponge here? I mix them on the sponge. I mix everything on the sponges so it's not one color. So, yeah. Okay. And then I go over them with pencil. <laughs> like, you know, then I go work on them with pencil over the top of what I've already done. Uh, let's see. All right. Let's go ahead and get in here with some of the gears now. I don't really like this black paper here, but I don't want to. It looks like there's something gone wrong on the camera. Big black square. Let me sharpen again. All right. So these are little people wrestling right here. They're just kind of like sitting there or they're wrestling or something. There's just like their bodies are kind of all entwined here <clears throat> in this little, uh, this little piece on the helmet. It's hard to see that, but maybe if I get a little bit of. Go back in there with some highlights and a little oil. And then there's these little, um, like little screws, little bolts or something. All kinds of little details. There's more of those little bolt things, like the little armors being held together with those. I don't see them right there, but I'm going to put some. I'm going to put some extra little bolts in there because it looks cool. <laughs> Why not? My bolts have to be. <laughs> oh my gosh, Rachel. I'm going to go in here with the Posca, and you'll see when I go in here with the Posca, even though it's going to be bright white at first, I can go back over it, and then those it'll still retain all that. Okay, so there's a lot of filigree in here, so I'm going to do some with the dark, and I'm going to go back in there with the Posca, and then I'll knock it back with the gray, but it just, you can get so much detail with the Posca. Some of that filigree, a little bit more shadow under there. Okay. Almost looks like a piece of her hair. It could be the filigree or it could be a piece of her hair. It could go either way. All right, let's see. You'll see. Try not to put my hand over it. I have a black, under all this stuff on my table, I have, my tables are wrapped with black craft, you know, wrapping paper. And so right over here to my side, <laughs> she can see it. Um, this is where I, I don't want to dip my phone. Oh, this is where I uh, test my pencils and, and make sure my Posca is, hang on, my Posca is working. Hang on, I'll show you. <laughs> I 
Hang on. I'm going to get it here. So this is um this is what I'm, you hear me tapping over here. This is this is what the table looks like on my right. Cuz I sit at like an L shape and this is the right hand table. <laughs> That's from over here when you hear me tap tapping my Posca. Because you, you do pick up some of the, you know, whether you're using wax crayon, you know, uh, Prismacolor or pastel, you're going to pick up a little bit. It, it doesn't seem to stop it for long, but. <laughs> okay, then we have a chain right here. Let's do this chain. It's kind of tumbly tangly right in here. Okay, a little bit of highlight in here, here. could be a little neater right there okay so now I'm going to do a little I'm holding my breath. <laughs> All right. And these little people up here. All just tumbling around in there. Okay. Now I'll get my black pen. It's coming along, but it takes some time consuming stuff. <laughs> Thanks, Helen. It's some time consuming, you know. Take some time to get all those little details. Oops. I want to go around each one of the little white dots, give it a little shadow, make it look more like a bolt.
in each of these little spots right there. Hang on, I'll check chat here in a second. It's like I feel like if I look up, I'm going to lose my place. <laughs> Bye, Julio. <laughs> And then inside this little chain here, Let's see if I can. Takes a while to do each one of those little spots, you know. It's like doing a Celtic knot. <laughs> I need to, there we go, let's use that paper. Okay, let's see here. This is where I go, shh, shh, shh. It's a little tiny. Okay. <sighs> okay, I need some white on this little chin strap. A second. Ah, hi, Colleen. How you doing? Let's put a little bit of. No, baby, you can't come up on the table. I'm sorry. I know. I know you want to. Okay, what do y'all think? How's it looking? All right, let's do these wings up here. I need a little bit darker in the way. I don't really want black marker though, because that's a little harsh. But I do need some darker areas, and I think I could do it better with pencil so it's not a harsh, like the metal, it looks good with the harsh uh, pen, pen lines. You know, to make it very stark. But on these feathers, I want to kind of make it, keep it a little softer. Just a little soft. I'll get a little more white. Okay, let's go back over here now. Okay. 
Get this metal looking. Quite the ponytail. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Devin, that needs to go in the wingnut book. <laughs> Is that quite, 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 I'm spelling quiet or quiet. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, that's going to go in the wingnut book, Devin. <laughs> yep, yeah, you're a wingnut, Devin. You're a wingnut. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's great. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> okay, let's get back in here. Let's do some of this filigree now. See, it takes, a, you can see it's tiny. It takes a while. It takes a while. little bolts down in here Just soften that with a little pencil, I think. Okay. Ah. Yeah, you made the wingnut book. Oh, y'all want me to sit here and watch me shade filigree metal all, all day. <laughs> but it takes time. You know, it just takes time to do it. And I think I want some of these feathers to be a little fluffier. So I think I'm going to add, I'm going to add more feathers. Yeah, <laughs> breathe, right? Moving really fast from what I said. Okay, good. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to have to turn this, though, to get the feathers going the right. Um, but I want, I'm going to make these little feathers. I'm going to make this more fluffier. I'm going to make these feathers fluffier. So I'm just going to cross over the feathers. And that'll make them look fluffier. Same, that's how if you do the hair, you know, the someone's hair, same thing if you cross over the direction that it's going, it'll give it more fluff. So same thing for her hair, like I want some of these hairs to stand out more. Now, I'm, I'm not going to leave them white, but I'm going to just get some going across her face here. I guess that's part of her orange thing there. Okay, so let's go ahead and do... So let me show you what I mean by crossing, like put these hairs going across like this. 
but I'm going to, I'm going to go back in here with the orangey kind of auburn color, but I just want to get some little light highlights in there. Not too many, but maybe one more right there. Now let it sit for just a minute and then I'll go back over it with, uh, with a, uh, light, you know, orangey kind of color sienna color dragging down feathers yeah there you go rachel so yeah let's see now i need to come back up in here i don't know what this stuff is dripping off these antlers this antler i'm not sure i mean it would be real stark to make it blood you know, make it red. But I don't know if I want to do that. Still not quite happy with it, all the... Metal here. And then I still got to do this row. I got to do the orange. I need to do the orange next. Okay, so let's see. Uh, it's going to be two. I'll just go with the sienna. Go over the white little hairs. And you'll see, I'll hold it up where uh, I did the white hair, little like highlighted hairs. And now I'm going to go over it with Sienna. But when I hold it up, you're still going to be able to see all those little individual hairs. See? They still highlight out, but they're not pure white. Same thing for these. Let's see what I can do here with the orange and the, let's start with the sienna. I think are rolling. Okay, let's see. Green slime. Could be green. Green's probably better than red. <laughs> just, just saying. It probably would be better. You don't need in the closet, baby. Just because there's nothing in front of the door, she thinks she can get in the closet. She probably can. She got clawed open. It's new to them in here since I've rearranged. It's like, oh, we got all kinds of... No, no, uh, uh, no, no. They, um, It's all kinds of new things for them to do since I've rearranged some things. And I haven't rearranged that much. See, I gotta do those little flowers. Oh, I need to clean my hands off. Hang on. I'm still picking up a little bit of dust, and plus, I haven't wiped off my table here, which would probably be a good idea. And I'm really zoomed in. Wait, do y'all see when I back out? It's gonna look really good. <laughs> it's gonna look really good when I back all the way out. I want to get some of this done. I'll try to get it done today. I can't promise you. Hubster and I might have an errand to run later, so I may not be able to finish it today. But if I don't finish it today, I'll try to finish it by tomorrow. We'll see. See, I still got to do that hand there and all this armor. Look, look at all this armor I still have to do. Lots of armor.
I'm going back over this with the bright orange in a minute. Just getting in some shadows here. Make the cloth look like it's flowing. Gonna get down in here. Okay, let's see here. I'm waiting a grocery delivery after the stream. I'm gonna make a big pot of Oh, sounds good. Well, I don't really like sauerkraut, but yeah. Bye, Fernando. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for spending some time with us. Hope you're doing okay down in Brazil. You will know, hear me holding my breath. I don't do it as much as I used to, but I used to really hold my breath when I was working, when I'd be work arting, and I'd be going. I'd do, this is what I would do, and Hubs would go, "What are you? Why are you? Why are you moaning?" Because this is what I would do. I'd be sitting here and I'd be holding my breath. I'd be going, "Hmm, hmm." <laughs> And he'd go, why are you moaning? I'm going, I'm not moaning. I'm holding my breath. Okay. I don't do as much as I used to. <laughs> All right. Real quick. Let me sharpen. <laughs> you do it too, Dina. Yeah. All right. So these little um, rosettes or whatever they are, I did them orange as well. So let's go ahead and put this shadow in there. Then I'm going to highlight everything with some Posca and then go back over the Posca with the orange. Okay, so let's uh, put some orange in there. And then I'm going to go in there with the Posca. All right. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Just got a little bit of stuff here. All right. So again, it looks nice and bright white, but it won't be in a minute. But it'll stand out. Oh, sorry, I was probably off camera there. Oh, thank you, Jan. And hi, by the way.
All right. Turn it over. Just trying to stay in camera here. We're still good on time. I'm surprised. It feels like I've been working on it for a long, long time. See, I haven't done any of these feathers or that, any of that um, armor right there. Got a lot to do still, but these serene, the serenes are very detailed, as you know, if you've ever worked on one. Serenes are a very detailed. Okay, you know what? I want to see. Maybe I have a line. Let me see. What's this green? That's not, I think that'll be too. Let me get a piece of oh, I got a piece of white paper here. Ah, uh, here we go. No, that's too brown. I want something. I'm looking for you know in the in the Arteza paint pens like this. Here we go. Fluorescent green. I'll even add a little extra. There we go. Now we're cooking. <laughs> oh, I forgot about doing um, this part. Okay. I think that's dry now. So let's see which orange. I want to use this orange. Let's see which orange I want to use. Yeah. The yellow orange. So now all the places that I put the Posca, I'm going to go over with this yellow, yellowy orange, orange, yellow. What is it? I can't read it. Some something. I can't read the gold writing on the, the gold writing on the uh, yellow pencil. But you see how, look, see, you can still see the white still bright but it's not white isn't that awesome so you still retain highlights with the posca but it's not white i mean i guess i could get out of yellow posca <laughs> Yeah, you know, I mean, I do have a yellow Posca, but this is just so much easier to pick my highlights out with the white and then go back over them with the pencil. And I'll go in there with a little bit more shading, too. I want to do this armor right here. I'm real anxious to do this. Maybe I'll have time to do that. And I got to do that claw too. That's what, oh, you know what? That's what we'll do. Let me get that little fuzz off there. We'll do the, we'll do the nails green. There's only two of them showing. That might be enough. Do those nails green. Get out the yellow Posca. Where would the <laughs> be in the... <laughs> I'll just use whatever works, you know. I'll just use whatever works.
I'm just making sure I stay in frame or trying to. Oh, Cameron. Cameron's texting me. Hang on, guys. Oh, <laughs> I bought him something. Uh, let's see. He's thanking me for it. I found these. Um, he likes, um, like, he, he's one of those that would like the spinners and the little things you flip and flop and all that. Well, I found these on Amazon. I found these rings. They're like black rings, but some of them are silver. And they have, look, they have chains and just different little things in the middle. And they'll spin. The middle spin. All the middle spin. So I bought him those and he was just thanking me. Okay. Okay, let's see. How we doing here? I think her hair needs a little a little orange in it or something. It looks a little dull. She's been in battle too long. She needs a little she needs a little touch up. <laughs> she needs a little touch up on those roots. <laughs> Need a little orange in there. <laughs> okay, so the same thing goes for these flowers up here. Let me do a little bit of curly, petally looking things up in here. Let that dry a minute, and then I'll go back over that with the yellow. <clears throat> she needs a spa day. <laughs> She's got to have a little dragon dust on her. <laughs> well, I could put some glitter on her. Uh, I could put some glitter on, like, the wings, you know. I could put some, look, hang on. I, but you can't do that till the very end. Some silver stickles. What do y'all think? Silver stickles, maybe a little on the armor and a little in the wings. But I can't, you can't do that till because it has to dry overnight. So yeah, not quite to that point. All right. So now I want to get in here with a little, little deepening of the shadows here and there. Could be with the orange too. I guess it could have gone in there with the orange. Make it look a little folded, like flowy, you know. <clears throat> Go for the stick on it. <laughs> but I can't do it, Rachel, till I have everything else done, you know. I could probably put some in here before we go, but I can't do anything on this until it's, um, until it's, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, dry. I just tumped one of those over. Now I got dust on my table there. I'm telling you, wait till I back out. You're going to go, oh, wow, that looked really good. <laughs> it's, we're so zoomed in, you know. I mean, you know, you, you don't know, you don't realize how, how little everything is until you zoom out. And you go, oh, wow, we're really zoomed in on that, weren't we? Give him some texture in his little hand there. So. Yeah, I have for sensible sense. I know I don't have to rush, but I try to get as much done as I can, you know, while, while I'm streaming. 
I try anyway to get as much done. There's just a lot of detail in the serene pieces. All right, there's a little more shadow up under there. Like that, that's better. Both the cats are in here. Do I have something? Across the street. All right. All right. Let me do this shoulder piece here. All right. That's under his little claw there. We've got too much there. Look, oh, hold on. Bye, Dot. Thanks for stopping in. All right, let's see here. Sharpening. All right. Bye, Devin. Thanks, guys, for stopping in. I'm going to zoom out here in a minute. This is a little bit of shadow, and then I'm going to put the highlight on top. Get it nice and contrasty. Okay. All right, I'm going to turn it just a little so I can. Oh, oh, okay, Dad. <laughs> gotcha. Just saying bye. What is it, baby? I hear you. Lots of little bits. Okay, now I need a little bit of a little bit of shine on there. Too much. I don't want to do that. Next, I'm going to go back over it with the gray. 
Yeah, I don't think I need that much white. Okay, let's go back over this. Just need the light gray there. Okay, let's let that sit for a second. Let it dry just a second. Oh, lots of work. I'm going to need the gray here. Go do that little thing on the wrist, the wrist of the uh, claw. Just took out those feathers there and all this metal here. Make those fingernails stand out. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to back out now. So you can see it. How it's coming along. So you can see what a difference it makes from that to this. See? But it takes time. It does take me some time. All right, let me wipe my hands down again. Hi, Michelle. Thanks, Tina. I know it just makes a difference when you back out because you're, you're looking at it like right like that, you know, but you're going to be looking at it like this, you know. That's how you're going to be looking at it is like that. So, all right, now I do want to think about doing, let's see, what light gray? Let me sharpen this gray. Let's see how much brighter this works yeah that'll work okay so now what i'm going to do let me go ahead and zoom in just a little <laughs> so i'm going to go in here on the stenciling and just kind of give it a little more oomph maybe just a little with the gray Just to make it stand out just a little bit more. And 
and because it's all the other gray and metal looking that it just really looks the gray and the black and the metal just really stands i mean this makes it stand out a little bit of because so I can see the, the black lines of the art you know the artwork of the slime I can see the black lines and I, I want to get rid of the black lines of the slime so I'm going to go ahead and white out the black lines that where the slime was drawn and I will go back over this let this dry then I'll go back over this with the green but I'm getting rid of the black, the lines, the line art. Man, let's fix those fingernails. There we go. All right. So now let that dry, set it, just set for a second. And then I'll go back over it with the green. Because see, look how much better it looks. It stands out. <clears throat> Hi, Jane. Anybody else? Yeah, see, it's still wet. Um, then I think these little horns could have a little bit more shadow under there. And then maybe a little bit more on the inside of the skull there. I should, let me go get my iPad. And I'll, well, you know what? I think I'm going to put a green. I'm going to make that a green nose ring too, just because it carries the, th you know, it carries the green throughout from here to here to here. I'll get my iPad and show you that skull I'm working on. Well, that I haven't worked on lately. Oh, my. oh, I didn't bring my pen. I can do it with my finger, but let's see. Procreate. Oh, I don't have it tilted. There it is. Okay. All right, let's see. So here's all my Procreate things. Here it is. Okay, let me turn it sideways so you can see it. Turn it sideways. So this is the skull that I'm working on. And I want to put a little astronaut right in there. A little astronaut right in there. <laughs> uh oh, I'll go back. Oh my gosh. Take that off. <laughs> um, so yeah. One of these days I'll finish doing my procreate. That's not part of it. I, I keep my cameras covered up, so that's what that is. <laughs> so Anyway, uh, work on that in my Procreate. Let me go back to the gallery here. Let's see what else. I think I've shown, well, I've shown y'all stuff late, you know, not real recent, but things I've worked on. I need to do more in Procreate because I really like it. But, uh, yeah, I don't uh, play with it much, as much as I should. Okay, so... That's probably dry by now. Let's move this over here. Go over the white with the, the green. What do y'all think? She could still maybe use a little bit of a little bit more brighter in her hair. Her hair's a little dull. <clears throat> Let 
And I could fix a couple places that I kind of went over with the pastel. Same like right in there. Got a little spot right there. Okay. I think I'm going to stop for now. Stop for now. Although I could do a little bit more. I keep saying, oh, I should stop now, but I want to do a little bit more. A little bit more oomph on the armor here. We could make little little bolts on the armor. Could put little bolts on the armor. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, I like that better. Did you get a spit mark? Can you get? <laughs> well, I don't know. It depends on where it is, you know. It depends on where it is because you can't, you know, go over the Posca, you're still going to have a mark. So it depends on where it is. Like if it's on her face or something, you know, which I've done before. You just don't want to, don't, don't do like I'm doing a stream and talk over your pan pastels. <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit of green on his teeth. And another little, another little highlight on, let's do a little more right there. A little, another highlight on his nose ring there. There we go. That's better. Uh, make the astronaut sitting in there with the computer. <laughs> well, not in this one. I'm gonna do it on the other one. I'm gonna put the. I'm gonna put a little astronaut in that in the other one. So I just got to keep working all the all this. All right, now that I put the now that little bolts have to have a little bit more sharpness to the shadow. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you all enjoyed Coloring Wednesday. And, um, you know, I am working on the, uh, I'm working in the book of, um, you know, colors and uh, drawing. I'm even thinking about starting another sketchbook for drawing in colors. I'm thinking about doing another, another sketchbook. <laughs> for coloring in i mean drawing uh drawing things in that in colors like the banana and the pear and all that i'm thinking about doing um i'm thinking about doing uh a sketchbook of the another sketchbook not just on top of the paint where i have the one we in the composition book but i'm thinking about doing a sketchbook as well so we might have another one and get a little bit more shadow in there her hair a little bit more oomph. So, thanks, Rachel. You could read. Oh. No, I did read from the book. Oh, I could read from it again. I read I read some on Monday. You mean our a thousand um where is it? Here it is. A thousand one ways to be creative. This book? 
I read I read a page on Monday, but I'll read us another one. I'll read another one today. Bye, Kathy. So again, it's a thousand one ways to be creative. A little book of everyday inspiration by Barbara Ann Kipfer. And uh, so we read a couple pages every week. And uh, you're welcome, Tina. I'm glad you got your internet back. Okay, so I'll read these pages and then we'll go. It's only 11.15. We got a lot done. I mean, I'm not done done, but that's a lot. And look how good his hand turned out. If I say so myself, it really stands out, doesn't it? Do I need a little bit more? Do I need a little? Wait, I need it. I know what I need. I need a little bit of shadow. Let me get a dark green here, moss green. I need a little shadow with some moss green. Hang on, Rachel. You can listen. I'm looking for my moss green. Oh, here's a green gray. I just need a little bit of shadow on his nail just so that they. There we go. All right. I'm happy with that. Oh, wait. Let's put some on his teeth, too. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty good. All right, so 8.33. Oh, thank you, Nats, for the Canadian $20. It looks amazing, Dee. Thank you for all the spin advice. <laughs> but I'm telling you. Okay, now, look, Nats, where, where, let me get a piece. I got to do this again. Let me get another piece of paper. Do I have one under here? Under the, there we go, here. I'm telling you, and I won't spit on it. I won't spit it. I'll use a, I'll use a, <laughs> okay so there we go let's just say something flew out <laughs> let me do a dark color look at that look Nats there's my there's my advice <laughs> Don't get your don't get your pan pastels wet. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's what will happen. I'm not kidding. Hi, Colleen. All right. So yeah. All right. Let's. Uh... <laughs> Uh, and I'll try to finish the rest of this up today or tomorrow, depending on what Hubster and I have to do. And I'll, I'll post it on Instagram like I do all my finished ones. Okay. Wiping my face. <laughs> 833. <laughs> do you use that in an art journal? <laughs> uh, write a love letter to each member of your family. Infuse your work with the sublime joy of living and creating or spinning. No, it doesn't say that. <laughs> but it said infuse your work. When it said infuse your work, I had to throw that in. Keep a journal about your projects. Write something daily about what you have done and how you are feeling creative, creatively. Pick a subject or medium that you would like to explore for a whole year. And then here, I, I as Isaac Asimov quote, it's only afterward that a new idea seems reasonable. To begin with, it usually seems unreasonable. I love me some Asimov, just saying. Heinlein, I miss those guys. Okay, so there we go. We will uh, stop here. <laughs> Thanks, Nat. Thank you, Nat, for supporting the channel. All right, guys. Well, I'll, I'll uh, again, you can find me, Dee Dee Willingham or Inky Well, I N K I W E L L on Instagram, either one. And um, yeah, I'll try to finish this today or tomorrow. <laughs> you guys, you guys are the best, Nats. All right, guys, y'all have a good weekend, or I'll see you around at other people's streams. Uh, watch out for Edwin uh, reading The Lord of the Rings. Uh, he usually comes on about 7.30 Eastern, somewhere around there. If you like The Lord of the Rings and watching uh, Elrod, 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 uh, Elrod, watch Elrod Flash draw while Edwin reads. So... Uh, did I not ever met me usually? Oh, oh, mine. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, guys. Y'all have a great uh great day. Good good weekend. And we'll see you, we'll see you later. All right, guys. Bye. <laughs>